Alrighty guys, what is up and welcome to walk new walkthrough here on the Domination Channel and we are playing Splatoon, yes! Most people be like, what? Okay, I wasn't, I guess some people could be like, wow, I wasn't expecting this and some people would be like, well, considering you play Plants vs. Zombies, what should I expect? And the main reason I'm playing this game is because the sequel is set to come out this month and I figured, well, why not? I own the full game, so this can be the first shooter game I can actually get done. Because Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 1 doesn't have a story. And I haven't bought Battlefield 1 yet. Though I promise Battlefield 1 will be the next FPS game or whatever shooter game you want to say. Um, that I will do. So here you go. We're going to choose a boy. You can choose a boy or a girl. Uh, that's fine. Hair color is fine. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Here we go, guys. So if you guys do like the new series, then definitely leave a like. I'm going to be doing the story mode. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be the freshest squid on the block? Oh, there's Squidward when you need him. We'll teach you some funky and f funky fresh moves on your way to Inkopolis. Oh, you could have made a worse pun with that. Shoot ink and press RZ. Whoa. So I'm going to be playing the story mode. Uh, there's about 32 levels with several boss fights um, in this game. So yeah, I'm going to be doing the first one in today's video. Yeah, the sequel looks really good, and it is a Switch game I want to play. I'm like, well, I own the full game. I've been playing some games on my own that I need to get done. Like, I finished Mortal Kombat X. I was happy to get that done. There we go. Just check it. We are at two minutes. So I was doing, before this, I did a test run, and I'm like, well, why isn't there is a loading screen? And I realized when I, because I was watching Zack Scott, because he's the most, like, he's the biggest person to do this game, from what I've seen. And, um... Mainly, it just starts out with that loading screen, and then, uh... You just have to choose a character from there. So I'm like, oh, okay. See, so yeah, I do want to play the sequel, and I'm like, okay, I'll play this game. This game looks fun. It's kind of like Plants vs. Zombies. It's a lot more childish than Plants vs. Zombies. We gotta swim up the wall. Also, I wish they would have made it, like, a joke. Like, they could have done... Oh, hold on, I can shoot this wall. Like, they could have had Squidward in the game. That would have been funny. By the way, um, and I don't know why I would be saying this. If you don't know who Squidward is, he's the squid from Spongebob. I don't know how you would know who that is, but we'll just go... Oh, I, I, I get it. It's a run and jump. So, yeah, I'm going to be, in this video, I'm going to be doing the tutorial and the first level. Um, and after that, it looks like I'll... Oh, hold on, I screwed up. And it looks like just from there, I'll be doing one level video. Now, I watched Pack Attack also. And from what I've seen, he did about two levels, and it took him about, like, 15 minutes. So it makes me wonder how long um, these videos are actually going to be. So, yeah. Ooh, you got to get rid of all this. You got to get rid of all of this. I'm going to get rid of it all. And by the way, um... Please follow me on Instagram. That's been getting really big. We hit over 100 followers in less than a month. That puts my YouTube to shame. I did put some awesome, really funny posts, uh, Transformers posts, because, you know, that's my big thing now. Um, there, oh, my gosh. Two clips from, um, and I know pe especially some people. By the way, shout out to my uh, boy, Diamond Bolt. Oh, my gosh. I don't care if you're Australian, bro. You are freaking funny. Also, is that a, is that a mat? Um... Even he hates it, uh, the Unicron Trilogy. I actually own both Energon, Energon and Armada. And I was watching some video, uh, I was watching, I have two different discs with a couple episodes. And, um, I found these really funny scenes that I put in. Um, I, I just posted one now. I posted the other one like an hour ago, so you can go check that out if you haven't. If not, I would definitely recommend it. You would have no idea how many people, like, between friends and famous people, I've been following so many people. And by the way, you're like, why are you doing all of it? The tutorial doesn't say to do all of it. Well, it's my OCD nature, so shut up! Nobody likes you! So yeah, this is so long, and the summer isn't that much long left. We're in the middle of the summer. Um, that I'm going to be posting, wait for it, three of these a day! I know, that sounds like a lot. And also, getting rid of all this pink paint probably increased the video length substantially. Boom, what time are we at? Oh yeah, we're at like five minutes, so yeah, we probably should continue. Ooh. And yes, I'm actually using my gamepad to do this. This is really weird. Ooh. 
ZL. No, what's ZL? I'm trying to see what ZL is. Boom, there we go. Boom, there you go. See, we're about five minutes into the episode. I'm sorry. I wanted to get rid of all that paint. I couldn't help myself. But, um, yeah, the one joke was a Star Wars joke. The other one was a Pokemon, which I think people would both enjoy. Nintendo presents... Ooh, I like where this is going. Whoa. Oh, wow, looking at my gamepad, it's even cool. By the way, I know I'm not a blue person. That's more all-star, but, um, I like the blue. Splatoon! I guess technically I could have started here, but I wanted to include the tutorial. Ooh, what's this? I can't even read that. Is that Japanese? Nintendo's Japanese. Hold on to your tentacles! Really SpongeBob jo Really squid jokes? It's ink! It's Inkopolis news time! Blech. The tentacles is a squid joke, SpongeBob joke, whatever. News flash! News flash! What is it? What is it? Great Zapfish gone? Inkopolis is great! Inkopolis. Inkopolis's great zapfish has vanished. Wait, seriously? If it isn't recovered soon, are we going to lose power? Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. UFO sighting. I wonder if it has anything to do with that... With that UFO, uh, UFO crash. Sounds likely to me. Well, that's all for now. Until next time. Stay fresh. Stay fresh. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Inkopolis! This is the plaza where all the freshest folk come to chill like krill. Oh my gosh, these fish puns. M most, inkling most inklings here are obsessed with the hottest sport in Inkopolis. Ink battles! Bum -bum -bum. Whoa. The crazy tall building in front of you is Inkopolis Tower. It's the city's most famous landmark. There's a lobby on the first floor of Inkopolis Tower for online battles. This is the Booyah Base, a shopping mall for all your inkling needs. You can buy all kinds of fresh gear and weapons to use in battle. But check it, the staff in the shops can be a, be a snobby bunch. Blech, I'm sorry about the whole speaking problem today. They won't serve you if you don't th think you're fresh enough. Well, I like to think of, actually, not really. I haven't showered in a while. Battle Dojo is the second floor of the building over there. Check it out if you want to battle your friends at one-on-one -on -one and sharpen your skills. You might want to steer clear of that back alley. Smells a little fishy. And next we have... Huh? Who's the creepy old dude? He seems like the type who can get you mixed up in something dangerous. Whatever. Why don't you just he head to the lobby in Inkopolis Tower? The that's where you can get your splat on. Your splatoon on. So we're actually going to go talk to the crazy old man because I'm actually, he is a part of the story mode. Yep. Hey, old fish dude. Fish face. We are coming to about nine minutes. I'm sorry about this being so slow. Um, again, if you guys do like it, I'm going to make three more videos. They shouldn't be as long. I know we're hitting about ten minutes. I don't think it's that bad. Whoa. Hello there. The, the, ah, ah, oct. The Octarians are coming! The Octarians are coming! The Octarians are coming! Oh, that was a bad joke. Americans will get that joke. No! Oh, wait, hi. Guess I lost my cool for a minute there. I'm Captain Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary Squid Break Splatoon. That look in your eyes, it's the look I've been looking for. The great zap zapfish that powers Inkopolis has been squidnapped. Nobody believes me, but it's the work of the Octarians. I just knew it. They want revenge for the great turf war of, of 100 years ago. Really? Wow. It's been keeping an eye on them this whole time, of course. But they stole the great zapfish right out from under my nose. Are you like a veteran from that war or something? Please, you gotta help me rescue the great zapfish. So, I'm going to take your silence as a yes. Yes, that is a yes. Starting today, you're Agent 3 of the new Squid Break Splatoon. This is your brand new hero suit. Whoa, I like it. It'll help you fight the Octarians. What a great 
fit for a hand me down from Agents 1 and 2. <laughs> yeah, let's go get the Octojerts. I'm counting on you, bucko. Okay, let's go. We gotta save three Zepfish. Here we go, guys. We're doing the first level uh, Octa Trooper hideout. So, yeah, the 10 extra minutes should make this video a little longer. Let's go. No, I didn't mean to blow that up. That was stupid. I'm still trying to get used to playing a Wii U like this. So, please give me. Please forgive me, guys. And there is actually a collectible in here. So, I'm going to try to collect the collectible. Duck. Let's actually go over here and see what's over here. Nice. I don't actually know what these are. If you guys do know what they use them for, uh, definitely let me know. If they're for, like, custom stuff, then we'll probably never use them. Checkmate. Boom! Stealth strategy 101. So, yeah. Considering it took us 10 whole minutes until we get to the level, uh, this is this will probably be one of the longer videos. Like, I saw Pack Attack, he did the first two levels, so this and another level. Um, and it took him like 16 minutes. Charge! We ow. So yeah, this is um a lot even more. I think more childish than um. That uh, Plants vs Zombies. And, you know that's pretty childish, but whatever. <laughs> And the reason I actually started playing it now was, well, A, I forgot that they were making a second game. Uh, B, I saw All-Star playing it the other day, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, that was on my list of games to play, and I never actually played it yet, so let me play it. Ow. That bomb was a piece of... Boom, that's one down. This is messy. Boom, there we go. Where do we go from here? Oh, we have to go back? Oh, we hold on it. What? Come on! So yeah, if you guys do like that I am playing Splatoon, then uh, definitely let me leave a like. Um, something I'm not going to be doing with this game, oh wow, we're coming to about 15 minutes, is I won't be playing multiplayer. However, if you guys would like me to, uh, would like, maybe I'll do, ooh, we want, I have an idea. Maybe what I'll do is after we finish the main game, kind of like what I've been doing with Battlefield, or what I kind of was doing with, doing with Battlefield 1, maybe I will, um, I'll do like a live stream, I'll live stream playing Splatoon. And I know I need to bring, um, uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, here's where the collectible is, so let's get rid of these dudes first. Now, I think it's, is it this one? I think what he did, this was Pack Attack, by the way. It's come up here. Yep, you can see it from here. Do is is we'll actually try to make this video longer by okay that was stupid. Uh, next plan is do this. There's a collectible. There we go. Coming to 
from about 15 minutes for the first video. That's not bad. Uh, definitely because we won't have the tutorial and the backstory plot and all that other jazz. Definitely think the next episode is going to be... This thing is going to be important because we need to grab a key for it, so just let you guys know if you haven't played Splatoon. If you have played Splatoon, um, definitely let me know what is your favorite thing, and would you guys, um, would you guys would like, would you guys like to see? I want to see what's over here. Um, multiplayer, and uh, I wouldn't if you would tr if you want to try it on your end, not on my end. I don't want to do it. Um, see if we can play together, like me, like a subscriber fan thing. That'd be cool. There we go. But again, we have 31 more videos of story mode, guys. So. Platoon is gonna be long. I think it's even longer than Battlefield 1. Which is kind of scary. And heck, I only did like what? Four videos of that? We this is non-stop. Oh, what the heck, man? Oh, I lost the okay, that was not good. These Octarian fools. If my goal is not to die, if we lose one, one is okay. Two, no. Let's see, let's just check. Okay, we got the key, but let's make sure we got. Ooh, there's the key. Also, really, if you guys didn't even realize what this game is, it's squids versus octopuses with paint. That's really weird now that I think about it. Yeah, we're hitting almost 20 minutes, so I will try to wrap this episode up. Zach, um, that's Zach Scott. Um, Pack Attack will probably think, what? How did you take 20 minutes? So, guys, if you guys did like my first episode of my Splatoon walkthrough, then definitely leave a like. If you guys want to see more, then uh, definitely subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc., please leave those in the description box below. And that was Octo Trooper Hideout. Get that zaps, uh, z zap fish. Oh, yeah. The next episode will not be this long. I can guarantee. Ooh, let's see what this is. Um, since the Immortals, a rare type of electric catfish known as the zap fish, has been prized by Inkling societies as a source of energy. In fact, the entire city of Inkopolis is powered by a single 100-year-old great zap fish. And uh, guys, I'll hope to see you guys uh, later today. Nice work on your first mission. I know you can do it, bucko. Ooh, can we upgrade our gear? Ooh, can we? Uh, so what is this? Hero shot, ink tank, splat bombs, burst bombs, seekers. Uh, level 1 to level 2. Increase the rate of fire by 1.2%. Oh, that's what you use them for. Okay, so that'll be the first thing we go for. And, uh, I will uh, try to hold this so you can actually shimmy. No, turn it, turn it. There we go. Hope to see you guys for the next one.